Idaho State Representative Vito Barbieri for thinking outside the box. You mentioned the uh, risk of colonoscopy. Can that be done by drugs? Can this same procedure then be done in a pregnancy? Following, swallowing a camera and helping the doctor determine what the situation is with the... Mr. Chairman and Representative, uh, it cannot be done in pregnancy simply because when you swallow a pill, it would not end up in the vagina. Fascinating. U.S. Senator John Thune for his innovative interpretation of gestational development. Mr. President, five months into a pregnancy, babies are sucking their thumbs. They're yawning and stretching. They're actively moving around. They respond to noises. And Mr. President, they feel and respond to pain. The scientific evidence on this point is incontrovertible. Five months into pregnancy, unborn babies feel pain. Their stress hormones spike and they shrink from painful stimuli. In fact, some scientific evidence suggests that babies of this age feel pain more keenly than adults since some of the neural mechanisms that inhibit pain don't fully develop until after birth. Virginia State Rep Bob Marshall for his groundbreaking research on the spite of God. U.S. Senator Ben Sass of Nebraska for introducing the latest convergence of science, technology, and e-commerce. As the committee's exhibits indicate, web pages exist where a customer can click on a drop-down box that lists every organ of a baby for sale. You can click on a brain, a heart, eyes, or a scalp. Then you select your gestation period. Then you proceed to check out and you decide the method of shipment. And Texas Congressman Michael Burgess for breakthrough discoveries in the field of fetal puberty. You watch a sonogram at a 15-week baby, and they have movements that are purposeful. They stroke their face. If they're a male baby, they may have their hand between their legs. I mean, they feel pleasure. Why is it so hard to think that they could feel pain?